With all of these macro changes going on, I guess, what would you say is our collective's sole mission on earth at this time? That is a great question. Um, to listen, to listen more than uh, to respond instead mm -hmm. of react mm -hmm. or even to pause, uh, kind of to what I was saying about Twitter and the wars everywhere. Uh, we human beings were, um, we're not trained to be in the unknown and out of control. We're trained, we're wired to survive. And if we need, if we're going to evolve and truly survive, then we need to, we need to listen, uh, not from our experience, but from over there and from over here. You know, we can't negate our experiences, but we have to hear what the other person's is and try to hear it from what they would. It's very hard to do. It's real easy for me to say that. What do you think? Oh, our soul. I mean, it's a big question. <laughs> it is not easy it to is, answer. But I, but I, I mean, I think a big part of the mission is stepping up and into that spirituality is recognizing you're not just what you're not just a regular person. Like you're connected to everybody in the world. And with this polarity going on, it's like you said, it's like learning that there's going to be two extremes, but the goal is to like meet halfway and find somewhere in the middle or cooperate and make it work rather than like constantly arguing and fighting with each other. And, and then, like, you know, how to, how do we use technology in a way that's beneficial and productive versus, um, a way that destroys us, destroys our, our mentality and our, cause I think a lot, you know, technology is growing so fast and there's a lot of people who are becoming more spiritual, but technology also has the power to, you know, move us away from spirituality. You know, you can get so plugged mm -hmm. in and, and I think that's a big question for me too, because I love technology, but I'm also, you know, I try to be spiritual. <laughs> so, so the question is like, how do we move forward balancing these things, like using these tools in a productive way, in a positive way, rather than it destroying everything? Yeah. It's the same thing with astrology, you know, like how do you use it as a tool instead of a rule or right. instead of being a tool of technology, you know, technology uses you too, if you... You know, so yes, to develop a healthy relationship. I'm just going to grab over here oh, a copy of our 2022 book um, because within it, sorry, it was a little out of reach, That's but this okay. is our, we write a book oh, every year, I our 2022 that. horoscope guide. I'll have to get you one. Um, I can give you the link if anyone wants to get sure, it. It's we'll the whole the year notes. for every sign. Yeah. But we wrote an introduction calling 2022 the year of the new abnormal. So in that is a message to like, we're, there are some years where things are like, it's time to go, it's time to change, it's time to make and build. And some where, again, you have to be like, no, I don't know what normal is. The old normal's done, the new normal's still forming. Be in the new abnormal, embrace it. Right. Yeah, I think the, the period we're in is just learning to be un okay with being uncertain. <laughs> like we don't know what the future yeah. looks like yet. We're in the, the process of change and rebirth. So hang on. <laughs> you can't <laughs> just hold on. Exactly. <laughs> if you can't do that, be okay with not being okay right. with being uncertain. Uh, like, you know, to be like, I'm not that. okay with it. I don't know how to define it. And I'm going to be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the next level. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> 